All right, I want you guys to let me know if I was in the wrong or not for this story. Anyway, it starts out my sophomore year, high school, and I took uh, woodworking for my seventh hour <clears throat> class. And, well, it was mainly filled with freshmen, and I'm not kidding, I hated every single, every single kid in that class, except for one. Every single one in that class I hated, except for one. And it made me dread going to a class that I normally would have enjoyed. Because they were absolute dicks. Every one, except for that one student. Uh, but I remember one day, it was almost the end of class, I was just sitting in the chair in the kind of classroom area of the wood shop, and kept getting pelted with M&Ms. And I had suspicions of who it was. My suspicions were correct, but I thought they were wrong after what I did. Now, here's the part where I might be in the wrong. Uh, I took my phone, and I positioned it, sitting on my knee, facing towards where the M&Ms were being pelted at me from, and I started recording. And <clears throat> um, when the next time I felt an M&M hit me, I stopped recording, looked back at it, and I saw a kid who will call, I don't know, Jason. Let's call him Jason. Anyway, Jason, in the video, I saw him do like a hand motion, like a throwing hand motion over in my direction, and then got pelted with an M&M. Now, I showed it to the teacher, and Jason explained that he was just doing like a basketball hand motion. I didn't believe him. Until later that year, same class. Uh, he, or he had dropped the class, it was the next semester, and he dropped the class. He was the only one out of, he was one out of two that dropped the class. And I was still getting pelted with M&Ms one day, and I knew who it was. It was an absolute douchebag, psychopath, dickhead had to use all that language because I hate I hate him so much and I'm so glad that he's now doing homeschooling because I he's a psychopath and I can see him ending up in prison one day I'm gonna fa make a fake name for him hmm. uh, let's go Jeffrey fitting anyway Jeffrey he was actually the one who was pelting M&Ms at me which is like that doesn't sound psychopathic but he's done other psychopathic stuff that I'd probably get in trouble if I were to tell on YouTube, so that's, yeah. Uh, but like when I showed the teacher the footage of what looked like Jason throwing M&Ms at me, um, he reprimanded him and explained, and then like I said, Jason explained that it was a basketball hand throwing motion because he's in basketball and he didn't actually throw anything. I now know that it was just a coincidence. Uh, and he also told me that's in the, he, he got, he got mad at me, or the teacher got mad at me too, because I was recording under the student and it's in the handbook to not record students. Now, uh, immediately after I showed him the footage, I deleted it off my phone and I deleted it from my recently deleted. I had no intention of posting it online. I had no intention of showing it to anyone else other than the teacher. I just wanted to find out who was pelting me with M&Ms. And, so yeah. I don't really think I was in the wrong, but like it was in the handbook not to. It's like some of the other kids in the class got pissed at me afterwards for the rest of the year. I have so many stories to tell out of that class. Um, and so, let's just do that. <laughs> Um, a kid carved a penis out of wood. Uh, I'm just gonna call him, I don't know, let's think. George. Let's call him George. So George, car he cut out wood on a bandsaw into the shape of a penis. And he claimed it was a sword handle. Sure, buddy. But anyway, the kid who I mentioned earlier, Psychopath, what did I say his fake name was? Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey, he had it in his hand, and because he's an absolute dick and I decided to poke fun at him, uh, 
I said, I'm glad you're finally embracing the fact that you're gay. And I walked away and he chucked it at the back of my head. I picked it up, went, I went over to the dancer and I just cut it up into pieces. And then the kid, what did I call him again? I keep forgetting these fake names, George. Yeah, George. George got really pissed at me. He was like, you cut up my sword handle. I'm like, I, I, it's like, yeah. And then I went over to my, my project where actually the teacher called me back and he was holding my project I was working on a shelf and it had a penis drawn on it. I don't know who did it. Um, I think it was another dickhead in the class who, let's think of another fake name for him. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, let's go with Reed. Yeah, Reed. Uh, Reed is just a dick. I don't, I don't think he'll end up in prison someday like Jeffrey, but he's just a dick. Anyway, I think it was Reed who drew the penis on my board on my shelf and I got really angry about that and uh, when the teacher showed me it he was like did you do this I'm like no someone did that to me. it's like so many people I had to keep close eye on my projects at all times because of how much they sucked not the projects but the classmates it's like they acted pretty much like how movies portrayed high school they were that bad well my grade we didn't act like that when we were their age yeah we're only a year older and so that doesn't ex and that also shows why it's so ridiculous how they would act like absolute assholes and it's like uh with i took the board and i i went over to the belt sander a stationary belt sander and i made a pretty stupid mistake. This is the only time I've ever gotten hurt while woodworking. I put the board up to the stationary belt sander and uh, that was a dumb idea. I'm going to grab my Nintendo Switch to show you what I'm talking about. The stationary belt sander is meant for you to like push it into it this way. I was pushing into it like this way with hands like this and it went into the belt sander and flung off went flying and then my hand went into the belt sander i broke a nail and i scraped off a little bit of my skin on my ring finger it was either my ring finger on my left hand or right hand i can't remember because there's no scar surprisingly <laughs> um i'm surprised that there, there's no scar and if there is it's very faint uh <clears throat> but anyway um it went flying I got hurt, then I eventually went home. Next day, went to sand off the board properly, and it cracked while it was sanding. So then I had to use glue to do it, and then the dickhead... What did I call him again? What, what did I call him again? I can't remember. It started with an R. What was it? Hmm. I don't know. Just the kid who I... I'll just call him R from now on. So R... Um, he, I was uh, doing some work on the shelf, which was not put together, just had the boards with it. Uh, but anyway, R comes up and tries to grab a, a piece of the wood I was using for my shelf, and I put my hand on it before he could grab it, and it breaks. And I'm like, why do you have to wreck everything, jackass? It's like, I don't curse much, but, and I've been cursing a lot in this video because of how much that class frustrated me and it oh they were ridiculous I was so glad like I, I loved woodshop but I was so glad when the year ended and I didn't have to take it with them anymore uh but like Jeffrey him and his brothers. They all suck. They all do. I don't know what it is, but they're all they're all they're all assholes. Um But they're now doing homeschooling now and I'm like, yes. So yeah, that's awesome. Uh although I wish it was another kid who I hate way more. Uh 
so yeah. <clears throat> trying to think, what's another tale from Woodshop? Um, the Great Below Me. The one who I had a class full of that I was that I've been talking about for the past ten minutes. Uh, apparently they made the old math teacher quit, is what I heard, because of how awful they were. Um, that's just what I heard, though. And that's like, then the teacher quit sophomore, or I don't know if he quit or something, but like my sophomore year, at the end of the school year, uh, he quit doing the, or doing shop, because apparently he wasn't qualified enough. I really liked him. Uh... And then I was, then he was like, I'm going to come back as a sub, full-time sub. Uh, but I heard from my friends that he couldn't. And then, because I'm doing online school, which I don't really want to get into this video. Um, then I started doing the driver's training thing. Pulled up to the school to do the driver's training with him. Er, er, pulled up with my dad to the school so I can go do the driver's training. And there was the old shop teacher. And uh, my dad actually knew him, surprisingly. Um, and so, like, they had a conversation, and apparently he's he actually is a sub, so I don't know. And I brought it up to my friends, like, he never told me he was still teaching. Um, so, yeah. And uh, I've run out of things to say. <laughs>